The problem with uh, cleft is multiple, many fold. It starts off with aesthetic because what you're looking is a child with a, a break in the continuity of a lip. So it doesn't look very nice, doesn't look normal. People stare and depending on how educated the population, some people stare more than others. Um, on top of that, there is a feeding problem. If you cannot form a seal, you cannot feed as easily. And for babies, this is a problem. You don't feed, you don't grow and you don't get your nutrition and you die. Okay. And then there's uh, speech and then there is hearing and then there's psychological problems. So in a child who is born with just a lip, say, feeding shouldn't be a problem. Okay. But because they're teased in school, they don't go to school. They don't go to school. They can't get a job. You can't get a job. How are you supposed to survive? So, you know, there are lots and lots of problems. In a cleft lip and palate where it affects the palate, feeding is a problem. So out in, say, East Malaysia, where the orang asli, they cannot get to a doctor. They cannot get to somebody who repairs cleft lips and palates. If the baby cannot suckle at the breast, they will die. Because they cannot form a seal, they cannot swallow, they will die. So some of these children don't make it beyond you know, neonate. If the palate is not too bad, they can still get enough seal to enough food. They will be small, they'll be scrawny, but they will live. And then they have speech, they have hearing problems. The thing is, the muscles for the palate is connected to your eustachian tube. So that opens and closes your middle ear. So if that doesn't work properly, then fluid collects in your middle ear. And when fluid collects, it causes you to be slightly deaf, hard of hearing. If your hearing isn't there, you cannot hear to be able to mimic speech. So therefore, you cannot speak very well either. So there are lots and lots of problems.